Hey, here's a fact for you. Did you know the average woman in her lifetime will spend £18,000 just on her face? Whoa, 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 whoa. Run that past me again. You're saying that for a bit of mascara and a bit of lipstick, nearly 20 yeah. grand. Yeah. But listen, that's nothing. The mega rich, the super wealthy, they can spend that in a month or a week, some of them. Ever since the Hollywood stars of the 1930s and 40s dazzled us with their fairy tale beauty, we've known that having loads of money means you can look loads better than everyone else. But these days, with social media and 24 hour celebrity news, the battle to be the fairest of them all is a multi billion dollar industry. And in the arms race for perfection, there are more secret weapons than ever before, if you've got the cash. So this week, Eamon and I are going to find out just what are the secrets to looking a million dollars. Ah, that's why we've come to Harley Street. Exactly, you see, this is where it all happens, this is where all the cosmetic surgery goes on. So I want to find out how I could look a million dollars. Darling, that is an absolutely brilliant idea. I'm so glad you want to do that. So many places, so much we can do. Come on, come on. No time to waste. No, you're supposed to say you already do look a million dollars, darling. Yes, yes, that too. Come on. So many places. This week, Ruth and I are on a mission to find out how the super famous get super red carpet ready. It fits. This is how much? £775,000. Eamon gets obsessed with A-list pampering secrets. This one's fantastic for anti-aging. That sounds expensive. Anti-aging? Anti-aging. That's the one slap it off. And we discover one or two secrets we didn't want to know about today's quest for physical perfection. I've had to design a vagina. Same's going to be very embarrassed now. Cover your ears. This fright, she's going to show it to us. <laughs> Beauty is supposed to be in the eye of the beholder, but today's A-listers only ever seem to look scarily perfect. So are they relying on some secret technique which guarantees gorgeousness all the time? It turns out the answer is probably yes. And here on London's Harley Street, we're going to meet someone who's worked out exactly what it is. Hey, and maybe the doctor could have a look at you while we're here. I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm just saying. So, Dr. De Silva, what is facial mapping? How would you describe it in layman's terms? Philosophers have debated over what the definition of beauty is for centuries, and all of us know what a beautiful face is when we look at it, but how do you actually measure that? So this is the science of beauty? Yes, in a way, we're taking something that's very subjective, which is beauty, and we're trying to objectively measure that so we can actually look at that as a, as a number. Dr. De Silva has developed a technique based on an ancient mathematical concept called the Golden Ratio, derived from proportions which occur again and again in beautiful natural objects. He claims that some of the world's most beautiful faces also have proportions which are equal to the Golden Ratio. So, um, Kim Kardashian. She's gorgeous. We start looking at, say, her eyebrows and look at where the arch point is relative to the width of her eyebrow. How similar is that ratio to the golden ratio? And then we can use that same principle for the other characteristics of the human face. So looking at her nose, well, we can look at the height of the nose, we can look at the width of the nose, we can look at the position of the tip of the nose in relation to those other variables. And we can quantify that with the golden ratio and that will give us a number. Okay, so you've analyzed all of Kim Kardashian, you put those scores together, and her overall score is? Her overall score is 91.3. There's been no end of speculation as to whether Kim's beauty is the work of nature or the work of the surgeon's knife. But with celebrities leading the way to the operating table, it's no surprise that the nip-tuck business is worth over $20 billion a year. So what about it, Ruthie? I mean, you're a sort of celebrity. Do you think you should be leading the way a bit? Well, as it happens, darling, I sent a picture of you to Dr. De Silva. You did what? Ah, oh, there yes. you are. <laughs> <laughs> You've got a very long forehead. Well, Doctor, how do I shape up? Looking at the characteristics of your face, I mean, there's some things that scored particularly highly. So certainly the shape of your eyebrows is relatively close to the phi ratio and is regarded as like an attractive quality in your face. 
nice eyebrows. And then there are other characteristics that could perhaps have been shaped a little bit more and improved a little further. When we look at your eyelids, well, we can actually barely see your eyelid. Yes. If we look on the right side. A so lot of droop going on there. A little bit of droop. And certainly that is something that could be improved and would freshen up your appearance. Are you tempted? Well, actually, I am, but then I realised there's more effort needed down below. Well, not down below, I mean, I mean, <laughs> not, I mean there. That's a whole other story. No, I, mean, I know, I mean there. So the other thing that the computer mapping showed was really the lower third of your face, and where your jawline has been softened. What jawline? <laughs> where, where is the jawline? <laughs> So what about his overall score then? How's he done? So, Eamon, like your overall score when we averaged each of these variables came to 80, which is very respectable. That's good. Well, there's no wrinkles on a balloon. I'm telling you, you I'm keeping this face. You and Kim. Easy. Beat that. Sorry to burst your bubble, Eamon, but did you know George Clooney's score is 91? Mm, indeed. Well, let's see what Dr. De Silva has to say about the picture I sent him of you. God, I look so miserable. <laughs> In this photo, your eyes scored really quite highly. Other parts of your face that scored well, your nose is relatively narrow and naturally refined. I think you have a lovely nose, I do. Thank you. I'm just nervous, I'm waiting for the butt. I think I'm coming down to that chin and, and neck, and I'm waiting lips. for the big butts. <laughs> big butts? You have a big butt, but it's only doing your face, remember. <laughs> anyway, thank you. So, nose is all right. The areas that could perhaps be improved, there's definitely a little bit of softening of your jawline, yeah. and there's a little yeah. bit of jowls yeah. that just changes that. Yeah. And naturally, as we age, some people are prone to losing a little bit of fat in this area, and it's called the tear trough. And so putting a little bit of volume back into the area so here, under would soften my eyes. that depression and it would freshen up your And what do you put in there? Flat fat transfer from, say, her bottom. So fat transfer, usually you don't take the fat from the bottom, I Eamon. Mean, usually you take it from around the tummy. Oh, that's fine. You can lend me there's some. Not, <laughs> there's plenty of that. <laughs> if I said to you now, yes, do what you like to, that you think would improve my too face, much, how too much would I be thinking of spending? Face and neck lip surgery done in a way that hides the scars around the contours of your ears, that surgery would take six to seven hours and would cost 20 to 30,000 pounds. 20 to 30,000 pounds just to tighten her throat. <laughs> Don't you say you could do that. No, but that's a lot. Okay, so his score was what? 80. His score was 80. 80, that's high. That is. Please tell me I've beaten him. Ruth, your score was 88. Yes! So hang on a minute, Doctor. You're telling me my wife is 88 and the amazing world superstar beauty Kim Kardashian is only three points ahead of her, 91? 91.3. That's incredible. And mine's all natural. Darling, I'm going to see you in a whole new light. Yeah. Keeping up with the Kardashians, and you're doing I it. Know. Coming up, we discover the latest surgical secrets behind A-list perfection. Red carpet dimple. Red carpet dimples, very popular just now. And they're done just over there. And Ruth will be laughing on the other side of her 88-point face when I get some secret state-of-the-art me time. How long would I be in here for? About 40 minutes. Make it an hour and a half. This week, we're discovering the secrets the super wealthy use to look a million dollars. And so far, we've discovered there's scientific proof that I'm a lot hotter than Eamon. Ruth, your score was 88. Yes! But if Ruthie thinks I'm going to take this so-called eight-point lead line down, she has got another thing coming. I've booked myself into a rather exclusive spa for some secret A-list treatments. This is our Epsom salt flotation pod. Yeah. Once you're inside here, you're going to achieve a really deep state of relaxation. Gosh, so all my cares and troubles would just drift away? All your cares and troubles are going to float away. Uh, it's also really good for the skin. It's going to leave you nice and soft and silky after. Because stress shows in the skin, doesn't it? It can be aging. It definitely can be. I have too much stress, I really do. How long would I be in here for? About 40 minutes. Make it an hour. Make it an hour and a half. What? 
Hello? Ruth. Ruth, I'm trying to relax. I'm trying to wind away the years. Yes. Make the wrinkles disappear from my face. No, you're not supposed to phone me. No, no. But you're just stressing me out now. What? What do you mean? We've got to get back to Harley Street. Hello? Hello? Marlena Dietrich's beauty secret was to use surgical tape to give herself a temporary facelift. If she were around today, she'd know to come here, London's Harley Street, a place where the laws of nature don't apply. Around a billion pounds a year changes hands here so that surgical wands can be waved and imperfect bodies and faces can be left behind forever. Nobody knows more about what goes on behind these closed doors than the beauty journalist and vlogger Alice Hart Davis. She's spent nearly 20 years finding out every secret about this street. Alice, how important is this street in the world of beauty? This street is completely crucial to the world of beauty because up and down here you have got all the guys who can fix you from top to toe, everything from facelifts to Botox to buttock implants. This is where it all happens, this is where all the trends are started. Despite the millions being spent here every day, many of this street's clientele remain secretive about the work they're having done. But some celebrities have been fessing up. Chris Jenner has been very open about her facelift and both she and daughter Courtney have admitted breast enlargement. Hill star Heidi Montag caused a storm when she admitted she'd had 10 cosmetic surgeries in one day. What are some of the more unusual procedures that have come onto the market that are perhaps surprising you? There's a distressing lot of things, whether it's the bum implants that aren't so great or the guys who make cheek dimples you get the ones who make dimples on the back that's a new thing people have a dimple put in on their back yeah the back of the hip looks lovely if you've got one of those dresses that um, is falling off your back you wouldn't notice it in some, until someone starts putting together a whole bunch of different celebrity photographs so and you get a wow. red carpet dimple red carpet dimples very popular just now and they're done just over there it's true you can get your own version of Made in Chelsea star Kimberly Garner's natural dimples for around £5,000. Elsewhere on this street, the type of operations being done is changing. Inspired by the natural curves of stars like Jennifer Lopez, people are having fewer facelifts, but more bottom implants. Are you saying faces are going down and butts going up? That's exactly what I'm saying, Eamon. And the big new trend for those with cash to burn is something called a tweakment. What is a, not a treatment, but a tweakment? It's a small, subtle procedure that can be done really quickly. Maybe it's a quick lunchtime lift, baby Botox, they call it. So you have like a little sprinkling of stuff rather than a vast mm -hmm. load of injections. Mm -hmm. It doesn't involve much pain and you will see a small but definite result. So, tempted by a little lunchtime tweak, Eamon? Might add a few points to your hotness rating. Tell you what, why don't you take some of your fat and give it to me? And I can plump it in somewhere. I don't want my fat taken out and put back. I just want it taken out and taken and out it and more taken out. They taken can out. do that too. <laughs> too much. I'm afraid you're right. It seems like looking a million dollars might actually cost a lot more than a million dollars. But it has been fascinating to discover the secrets that are out there if you have got the cash. Everything from blinging up your babies to redesigning yourself in Harley Street. This street is amazing. Absolutely incredible to think that behind each one of these doors, you can either have a procedure or be advised on a procedure that can change your body to make it better looking. And all you need is money. Yeah. And when you think, all those people we've met, you know, if you've got a stylist, you've got a beautician, somebody that does your teeth, a private jeweller, I mean, you're going to look good, aren't you? And if you've got time, money buys you time, yeah. time you can invest in your body to make it look, like, much better than this. Talking of which, I've had a thought while we're here, not let's just the, get not, a little not the consultation. Bum lift. I told you, I'm not doing the bum lift. It, it will hurt. It I'm not doing... Ow! I'm not...